Hey guys, and welcome to AI War. I am Cat, and today we are rebuilding after Mercury fell. Mercury, of course, was our big uh, constructed pl construction place, and we lost it. And we're still being chased by a... Uh, by what are they called? It's not something I want to deal with. I should probably move away from it very soon. It's called the Devourer Golem, and we need to not be here, which we cannot be here very quickly if we need to be. We can go. We've done what we needed to do here. All we've got to do now is just rebuild Mercury, which they can take care of. And then we've got to rebuild this entire planet. The entire planet just fell pretty badly. But it's okay. We can rebuild. Uh, I'll rephrase that. We don't really have a choice whether rebuilding or not. It's just something we have to do. We lost so much. Oh well. So right now we do need to rebuild our forces because we are lacking quite a lot of forces. Uh, and we are beginning our attacks on Lux because they have a research facility there and other good things, say also a core shield generator which I think that's one of the last ones left, I may be wrong, let's just check that out, objectives. Okay I need to kill two more of these. So right now I'm beginning to take out the shield generators, then I will take over some fabricators, then we might start making a move. Uh, I kind of think my mum is not the best start. Hmm. I might build a base on Hoth. No. Actually, I yeah, build a base on Hoth, then, like, f attack into Cigna, and Ash will be the first one to fall. But Ash is probably the furthest away from my home. Actually, that's the reason why Ash should be first, because Ash is the furthest away from my home. Because when I destroy this, we may get a lot of level 5 ships attacking us, and we want to be ready for them. Where is that Devour Golem? It is at Mantis. No, it's at Garen now. Uh, in fact, we should probably... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get these guys away from the France Gate. They should be at the Zumthor Gate. Okay, you just go over there. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Just relax. Nothing can hurt you. Don't tell me everything can hurt them. <laughs> Absolutely everything can and will hurt them if they're not careful. But they're gonna be fine. They'll make it out. Uh, I don't think the... Devourer Golem's particularly chasing me anymore. No, it seems to be going to Mercury. Which Mercury also needs to... Well, I was about to say Mercury also needs to be rebuilt, but no, Mercury was the place we were re rebuilding from the start. Uh, Alright, and we're just building everything back up that we need to. Tragic losses, though. Another space dock. There we go. And this guy can start going around and building the things that were destroyed. Yep, so the Devour Golem's left, Garen. He's gonna wander off. I don't care where he goes as long as he goes away. So the Rebuilder's give, got plenty of work to do, but he'll take care of it. Look at him, he's so diligent. So diligent. I respect him for that. It's the only thing I respect him for, though. And then we're going to start rebuilding the entire fleet. What we might actually do is... Because I'm not actually sure what we don't have being built. So we're going to start this off right from the beginning. And you can build all these... Until we can build no more. Which... That doesn't seem to be happening much. In fact, no, you can build one of everything. Can I just have you assist? No. Um, that's weird, I thought I couldn't build any more of anything. Oh, because the scouts were filling it up. Well, okay. You can build one of everything as well. So the scouts were filling up the queue before, but I don't really have any need for scouts anymore. Um, what I do have need for is resources, of which I am severely lacking. We could go into Fizz and take those resources, but, you know, what's the point, really? And our fleet is being to re be rebuilt. Quite happy about that. There's supposed to be some heavy plasma ships somewhere, I think. Are they still down here? Uh, Zenith bombardment ships? No, that's not what I'm after. You know what I'm after. I'm after these plasma starships. I can probably do a search for them. Uh, P P P P P plasma starships. Yes, there we go. And they are... where are they? They're in Zumthor. I've got one of them in Zumthor. Well, let's move him there. Great. 
Well, let's move him to Zumthor. He's already there, so let's not move him anywhere. In fact, he's even selected in this motley crew. Okay. So with the Devourer Golem fleeing for its life, its miserable, worthless life, I'm not sure if it's fleeing so much as it just happened to go away, but I'm going to say it fled because it makes me feel like I'm a badass. Which, as anyone who knows me and has been watching these videos knows, I am pretty much a badass. Uh, and no one's going to dispute that because you can't because I'm not streaming right now. Uh, just a heads up, you've probably already seen my video saying that I'm starting streaming, but I am now streaming. You can follow me at www.twitch.tv slash uh, and you can also follow my Twitter, which will tell you when I'm streaming. Uh, and that is something you should totally do because it's fun and that way you can tell me how, you know, Tell me what silly mistakes I'm making as I'm playing them, even before I've realized them. And that sounds fun, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, so feel free to join there. I will probably be putting a... Actually, I was about to say I'll be playing tonight, but this video won't be up until after I've already finished. So don't worry about that. But hey, it's keeping a record of everything. So if you want to go back and watch the stream, you can. I'm not sure how long that stays up for, but it's there. Uh, on a side note, I'm kind of worried about the number of force Spectre has. A lot of level 3 ships. Yeah, after we take out Lux, we might go and clear those ships out. I know I've said this a few times, but... Might be a good idea. I was reading a little bit about how the AI works, and the AI does tend to... Uh, max out of units at certain points. So I think they're going to come through Nocturne if they come from Spectre. So when it hits about 800 ships, they'll start actually attacking. They'll start roaming. And that is not something I want to have to deal with. Uh, I was going to say today, but probably not ever. So let's not deal with that ever. This place is also... Oh, what have we got? A cross-planet attack! 1,000 ships! Great. That's not what I wanted to see. Where are they coming from? Probably a ton of them from Spectre. Well, I know we shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do a little bit of an attack into Lux. That's not even the way to Lux. Just because I feel that it could be useful, maybe? So we're going to come through here into Lux, take out a couple of guard posts, and then leave again. So that way it'll stop the reinforcements, so it'll make the next attack easier. And I don't think I'm going to lose too much doing this either. So we've got 600, came in with 600 ships, we've got 599 so far. So far I call this a rousing success. I mean, maybe even an arousing success. You know, maybe the success of this mission turns me on. It wouldn't be the first time that I've been... You know what? No, I'm dropping that line right now. That's going somewhere very weird very quickly. Faster than I perhaps want it to. Alright, and guard posts are being taken out. Great. So where are we even defending? I don't know yet. We're going to have a thousand ships coming at us, so we probably should figure that out. A lot of ships in rows. Rows makes me think that could be a point where they're attacking. No, they're defending Lux. Okay. Well, sure, bring it on, buddies. Uh, with Cutlasses, in fact. When did they build Oh, that's right, Cutlasses are fairly new. They must have just researched them. Uh, I'm going to hold back here, actually. In fact, if we can stay out of their firing range and just sort of keep back. Because we've got, how many? 100 ships coming in? So if we can keep them at a distance... Okay, it looks like they don't want to be at distance anymore, that's fine. We can engage. We're engaging outside of that tower though, so that's good. They are attacking with a lot though, I'm not sure... This is surely not the wave. When we drop to 400 ships we will be fleeing, with still about 140 ships left over. Uh, that number is, of course, decreasing with every passing second. No, this is not the wave. This is just ships. Hmm. Yeah, we're fleeing. They've defended well this day. Congratulations, but we you will not be victorious next time, Geki Ganga. Next time! Oh shit, there's a lot of level 4. Oh, of course, this is a level 4 planet. I was like, holy crap, level 4 ships, what are they doing here? It's their home. <laughs> I'm attacking their home and surprised that they live there. Yeah, that's not the most logical thing to happen. 
but we're out anyway. Uh, we didn't really gain anything either. We just we destroyed a couple of things. We'll be able to attack them better next time. Uh, resources are very needed. Very needed, in fact. What we could do... I'm not even sure where they're going to be attacking from. I really think they're going to make a move into Spectre. So what I might do is the French force, or France force, because they're not actually French, might move into Nocturne. That'll protect anything coming from Scarrow and Spectre into Nocturne. And protect Jove by extension. Jove should be able to handle itself so long as it doesn't get attacked by a lot. Rose does have a significant fleet in it of 600 ships. I think they're just mostly just standing around though. The incident has 600 ships. The incident makes me think that there might be an incident at the incident. And Neptune as well. In fact, could we... No, let's not do a preemptive strike on Neptune. That's probably not going to help much. Uh, of course, this factory is still churning out troops as fast as it possibly can. Which, you know, all of Earth... And, well, not Earth, but like Earth. Uh, all of humanity thanks them greatly. But if they attack here, we could have a problem. Which makes me think I really should... We're going to take a severe hit wherever they attack us. Um, I don't really want to expand too much. You know what? In a rare change, I might actually cut for a while because I'm not going to be doing anything until this hack happens. Aside from just basic defences and that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut until a couple of minutes left. Uh, and then, unless something interesting happens of course, and I'll see you on the other side of this. So, yep. Crap. Okay, ships are attacking Mercury. I need to stop that as well. Okay, Mercury is more important to defend. Uh, Mercury is fully built, okay. Well then we might as well keep doing what we're doing. Um, still on hold. Alright, so in about a minute we're about to have a very fun time. We've got 286 ships attacking Mercury, and a thousand ships attacking somewhere else. I imagine a lot of this line's gonna fall. I'm a little concerned about Fires of Doom, actually, but there's not much I can do about that right now. Actually, I'm really worried about the Hydra approach. Um, okay, that's fine. If we're worried about the Hydra approach, we'll just put more turrets down, right? That might help. Um, yeah, it might help. Not quite sure. We can't, I don't still want to lose, I still don't want to lose that factory. Um, and hopefully those extra guns will help me keep it. We've got a lot of shields though, so I don't imagine they'd rip through those very fast. Anyway, first attack coming through into Mercury. And I put these uh, mirrors here so they, that way these bombs can shoot at the mirrors. You know, just try and put them in as bait. Uh, it doesn't look like they're actually taking that bait, but oh well. You know, you got to respect me for trying. I like that, I'm just demanding respect now. Come on guys, you have to respect me, I'm not giving you a choice. Uh, how far out are their bombers? That's pretty far out, man. So if we just shoot them from here, that should take them out. And where are my beam frigates? I should have a lot of beam frigates here. What is the release guys range? Oh, that's not bad. Move them forwards a bit so that way they can shoot. Oh, I know why these guys aren't shooting, because they're not actually in range. Go on. Yeah. Shoot the mirrors, that'll do damage to you guys, it was the joke. But, as it turns out, this is still not going nearly as fast as I want it to. Because in 16 seconds we've got a lot of shit coming, and I'm not wanting to deal with it. So where are they attacking? That's really the first question. 
you know what? Just I don't even care anymore. Just charge them. Okay. No attacks yet, but we're gonna keep an eye on that number because that number will tell us where we need to protect. Well, it won't tell us where we need to protect, but it'll tell us where we need to be. When it goes up to one, that's okay. Studying the map, looking for any sort of motions. Not seeing anything. Wait, is a curse golem there? Oh, brilliant. I didn't think there was any more curse golems left. Of course, it's in YOLO, because you only live once. Uh. And, uh. Rose? Something's happening at Rose? Maybe? There's a couple of ships. Those are just wandering, though. That's nothing important. Although there was a lot of ships at Spectre that aren't there anymore. Where did they go? Maybe they launched from the homeworlds. Is that possible? I'm really expecting to see more ships than what I'm seeing, though. No, I'm just not seeing anything happening. It's very slow, which bothers me so much. It's just staring at the screen. That number is still a zero. None of my plants are being attacked. What are you up to, AI? What is your deal? Maybe if... Oh, here we go. No, no. Carry deployed units in Zumthor. Okay. That's fine. That's 300 of the units found. They've come through Neptune. But thankfully, most of them are being held up by tractor beams. And Zumthor is also where some reinforcements live, so... Not a lot of reinforcements, unfortunately, but some. And we might just put up a little shield. Not that it'll hold up much, but... These guys are coming along fairly quick. We're running out of tractor beams, though. I've still got three redundant ones at least, so... Oh, never mind about that situation. They're no longer redundant. And they just got to get to Zumthor, and then... But they're not loose yet. That's what matters. That's what matters most. The goose is not loose. The goose, I repeat, is not loose. It is a very straight-laced goose. It has high morals. It does not sleep with any gander. Oh, fuck! Actually, isn't a gander a male goose? Actually, yes, and that still works. Never mind. Okay, the, the goose is loose. The goose is loose. Repeat, we have a loose goose situation. Uh, unfortunately for the goose, we have more go geese than they do. Uh, which is the classic way of beating the loose goose situation. Have lots of other geese. Because geese are like cats. They hate each other. And we've got some guys running to France, but France should be able to be protected against them. In fact, there's even some ships here that shouldn't have stopped. They need to be dealing with the loose goose situation. Uh, we've got two plants under attack, France and Zumthor, although both of those we're aware of. France seems to have a larger attack force at it. Why? Oh. Yeah, that, that'll explain it. France is the Devour Golem. Thankfully, why I had the insight to put up a shield the last second there, so... They're not really going to do much there. Okay, the cross-planet wave is not that scary in this situation. I thought it was going to be pretty bad, but it turns out it was pretty cake. And... yeah, it's pretty much dealt with. Oh no, that's only half of the fleet though. The other half of the fleet is who knows where, and Zumthor is about to get some new friends. Which I can't outmaneuver them out of the way of just at this stage. Uh, that was not the button I wanted to press. I wanted to press the V key! It's a very good key, that one. It does all your V-ing needs. Alright, so there's still 593 ships, oh, 98 ships free. I don't know where they're going, but now he's not even interested in us anymore. 
Although there is a carrier in Hydra. That is suspicious. So the Zumthor fleet is going to head that way. Meanwhile, the Nocturne fleet, not concerned anymore. They might just go to France in preparation for attacking Lux again. Yeah, that seems alright. We need to also take over Syndical and Beholder at some point. They both had resources. And we need to take this over anyway because there was a shield generator that I forgot to destroy. And that way we don't need to go to Malfine. Although I think we still should at some point. Alright, so next goal I think is pick up golems. Pick up more golems? Yes, that's a good goal. I like that goal. So get Lux, get golems, make money, get cash, get out, touch a bird. France still has enemy ships in it? Oh, it's the devour golem still. Never mind. Oh, devoury. You're so hungry. Um... I, I wish the Remains Rebuilder auto free roaming defender. Actually, can I do that? Uh, controls. Uh, auto rebuilder. I don't even know. Oh, there it goes. Auto free roaming defender rebuilders. Excellent. So now whenever I build them, they'll auto themselves. That's useful. Uh, we can probably actually go into Lux with this fleet. It's only 432 ships, but that should be alright. They've only got to take out a few guard posts which are probably stronger than they are nah I believe in them look they've even got some level 4 ships with them how can they go wrong? because they're fighting against level 4 ships, okay that might do it uh, but they've got starships with them, they've even got the plasma ship mark 5 so they'll be fine, I believe in them uh, let's just open fire I suppose all in favor of opening fire, say aye. Alright! No, say, ah, uh, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Funnily enough, the plasma starship's probably going to destroy them as well. Their shields are going down not as fast as it looks like it there. It looks like they're going down very fast, but it's still 82%. Because the starting difference is huge. Like, the last percent is, like, really tiny. But, yeah. It's something to do with maths and how areas work. I can't remember. If you pulled out a calculator or your old maths books, or new maths books if you're studying this, uh, you'll understand what I mean. But, yeah. It's, it's running out of space. Look at that. It's just going to fall. Oh, shit. Uh, hello. I didn't expect to see you all here. I forgot you did that. I forgot all of you came in to help when we attacked. But there's still 599 threatening ships around. I don't know quite what they're doing, but they're just being threatening somewhere. What I might do is get the bombers. Do we have bombers left? I'm not sure we ever had bombers. Okay. Well, we've got some heavy bombers and we've got the plasma ships. Plasma ships. There we go. These guys can just focus on that and everyone else can shoot at whatever they feel like. I mean, I noticed some people want to shoot that Raider Guardian. I endorse that. There it goes. So with one more guard post down, Lux will be easier to attack than ever before. Aside from the fact that they keep doing this and sending all these ships at me. What is that? A resistance fighter? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even know I had the resistance in this game mode. Clearly I do. Okay, so the resistance I didn't know were turned on. Uh, they are allies to my war. They will just sometimes send in forces when they see me attacking. They're basically like, Deliverance is here! Rise, my friends! We fight against the AI! And then they rise and they try to fight the AI. It's always funny when you just are doing a raid and the, uh, the resistance comes to fight back. And you're like, ah, we really weren't standing and fighting. We were just sort of coming here and leaving again. So this is going to get really awkward for everyone now. Just because they're like, yeah, we're going to live. We're going to live forever. It's like, no, this was, no, you've gone and doomed yourselves, you fools. You adorable, adorable fools. Uh, yeah, let's just destroy this generator. It's got 
it's a core generator, it has 260 million hit points. So this one could take a little while to shoot apart, but we'll get it in the end. That's what matters. Oh. And some ships have come from France. We've still got 599 ships. They're at Hydra. Okay, I didn't know you could mouse over that and they'll tell you where it is. Okay, the dangerous ships are in Hydra, like I suspected. That's alright. Not hugely concerned with that. We can deal with Hydra. So especially since we have... Uh... Why are you guys at pizza? Did you seriously stop for a pizza break when saving Fires of Doom? Is that seriously what you did? Well, my fleet are a bunch of morons. And we destroyed the warp gate somehow. And we have a lot of level 4 ships that are wandering now. May uh, Even some level 5 ships. Cool! Uh, bombardments should take out some of them, but we've got... 94 ships that are wandering. But they're going down. They've got 60 now. It's less. I like smaller numbers. Smaller numbers are better. Smaller numbers are like... Uh, children. You, you, you want smaller numbers when dealing with children. Because that way you don't have as many children to deal with. Right? I think that's how it works. Anyway, let's uh, build a colony at France. Uh, at Lux, rather, just to get that advanced research facility. And also we need to destroy this little guy, because that is one of the shield generators that supports the Death Star. I mean the AI homeworld. We don't particularly need to destroy this. The AI, the Resistance will deal with it. I mean, we believe in the Resistance. We don't, but whatever. The Resistance will do whatever they want. I don't particularly care about them. Uh, they care about us because, you know, we're their last and only hope, but whatever, you know. Since when did I care about them? They're just like, we'll destroy this shield for the greatest of goods. It's like, yeah, we, do we don't really care. That's why we stopped. I mean, we could help, but why would we help? There's no reason to help. None at all. And the factories are building more ships, which pleases me greatly. In fact, we've got a lot of ships just chilling out here. Is there any reason, reason to go to Hydra in particular? Not really. Uh, okay, let's look for golems. Golems is the next best thing. Broken golems. We've got a golem at YOLO. That was the cursed golem. We've got a golem at Pizza. That is a region golem. We've got a golem at Alistair. It is a black widow golem. Yeah, it could be useful. Malfine. It is a artillery golem. Well, there's one a dragon, actually. That's a regen. Ari, cursed golem. There's two cursed golems around. How did I miss those? I thought there were more artillery golems as well. Hmm. Well, more cursed golems would probably help. Uh, also, what about advanced uh, experimental fabricators? Oh wait, not experimental fabricators, sorry. Uh, what are they called? They're not fabricators. Starship constructors? No, not starship constructors, but we're close. We're close. Uh, we want not threat, we want... Uh, words. I don't even know anymore. Hybrid facilities? No. I don't remember what I'm after. Advanced factories? No, that's not it either. Look, I know what I want. I'm just going to have to look for them manually, I think. Or we can just... You know what? I say next episode, we push through Hydra. We build another base of operations there. And then we prepare to assault Ash. Actually, where are we going to come in from? We're going to come in from Signa, which is... Here. Oh gosh, that's going to be one hell of a fight. And we want the first thing we need to take out is this guard post. Each time we kill them, each time we come in, we want to destroy guard posts. But we can't do it until we take out shield generators, so somewhat pointless even thinking about this. But there's one shield generator gone. Uh, next shield generator is in Cyndaquil, and I will take that out because that is the good thing to do. And then we only need to worry about one more shield generator, and then we can actually start damaging the AI. You know what? Kador. No, Kador has a. Uh, the wasp golem. Hive golem, sorry. I say wasp because it shoots out bees. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, next episode we're going to go for Kador, and we will do some good work there. It is said, it is so because I said so, and I wouldn't lie to you all, would I? I wouldn't, because you guys are awesome. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> that awesome guitar going off there as well. That's how you know. That's how you know. Um, actually, no, before we leave, where is the last shield? Oh, there is core shield generators. Lux is under attack. That's okay. I didn't particularly care about Lux. I was only here for this advanced factory, which I got, and it gave me viral shredders. Not particularly useful. Um, it's a melee ship that creates other melee ships. Sure, look, I'll take him. I don't particularly want them, but I'll take him. I mean, they do a bit of damage, but whatever. Uh, now, we're constructing another thing here. A jibber jabby, if you will. If you want the technical name for it. And then once that's built, then we destroy this, and then... Oh, actually, we could have already destroyed it. Well, this is awkward. This is awkward for everyone involved. Okay, so only one more type of shield remains, and it's on Scaro, Signaro, Minoth. Oh, we could just take Scaro. Why not? Oh, because I've got a counter post. Never mind. Signa is over here. That's too scary. Minoth. We just... We'll take Scaro. It's closer. It gives us metal. And I'll see you guys next episode. Bye!